everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a long minute, but uh, yeah, here I am. You know how it is with, with COVID, I've just been working, can't really do too much, but anyway, we're back here in, in my new shed. Uh, got the aircon cranking, but it doesn't, it's not that cold. Got a bit of light, and today we're working on our R33 sedan. Uh, this is factory manual turbo, you've already seen the channel. If you haven't, go check in on the previous video, but We've blown out the manifold gasket. Excuse to really get a light. Still trying to work out the shed and get stuff together, but the manifold gasket has blown out. So I've got to pull the exhaust manifold off and also the tablet cover gaskets are leaking. So I've got brand new ones here. It's probably to mention that the, the exhaust manifold gasket is blown because of the leaking tablet cover gaskets. It leaks down into the exhaust manifold gasket, makes it brittle. Yeah, so, the, yeah, the oil, you can't see right now, but the oil's been leaking severely all on the gasket. And when you're thrashing it, yeah, it gets hot and, yeah, with all the heat and all that, um, yeah, it's just going to destroy your gasket and it's got a few caves on this anyway. And, yeah, it's dead standard. We've just put a front man in the cooler. If you haven't seen that video, go check out the previous video. It'll be there. Uh, I'll show you how to install a, a yeah, front man in the cooler on one of these. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and try to rip this off. It's pretty simple. Nothing really to it, but um, yeah, we're just going to hook in and try to get this done. And yeah, by the way, this is Aiden. Alright, so it's going to... See in that turbo? Stock turbo. No, oh, yeah. no oil. Yeah, it's really weird. I'll, I'll zoom in right here. There's... There's no oil. It has no blow-by. And it has... This is the RB25. Where, where's all the oil? 220,000 k's on it. So it's got 225,000 k's on it. And there's no oil to be seen anywhere through the intake pipes or anything. So there, there must be something wrong with this motor. It's a myth. Yeah, it's a myth. But anyway, you're going to see this thing get sent. Um, that means it's good to go. More boost. Which we got a um, HK's wastegate here somewhere we got to put on. Here we go here. Um, the first test drive, um, if you see in there, there's no rear turbine there. W what happened there? Um, it come from paint. I gave it the pumpies in second and then the wheel come out the back. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um, this has got a, um, it's got a HKS gate on it. If it'll focus on it, there we go. HKS gate. So we put another standard turbo on it and we left that gate off. Um, and then we just put the standard turbo on it and now it's a bit more slower, but actually boost. So yeah, we're gonna, while we've got the manifold and everything off, we're gonna, yeah, redo that. And yeah, hopefully it'll we took bring, it off. bring the boost up a bit more. We took it off because we thought, Oh yeah, um, I think when we put the split dump on, uh, it was just free boost and so we might have put it on just accidentally a bit crooked and uh, the wastegate flap was actually hitting on the split dump causing it to not open so yeah it was yeah, it was pretty spicy for uh, two or three pulls but yeah we heard a big bang and then there was lots of smoke out the back. It was definitely a steam train. So um, yeah we're, oh, we're fixing it, fixing it. So we'll, we're going to hook right in, there's not much to it, it's pretty standard, but um, we're just going to hook in, not going to film too much of it, you'll just see parts of it. So let's go ahead and do it. Alright, so we're just going to get one more bolt off of the turbo there, um, all the, the bolts on the manifold are off, uh, we've undone the dump pipe, but yeah, we're going to yeah, undo the, the last water line on this side of the turbo right there. Got to pull that off and then that's going to come out and we've taken that rocket cover off just because it was a fucking annoying thing and anyway but um right now because uh, we've we've got a little bit of gk stuff oh yeah gk tech stuff happening here i uh, got to install a sticker so we've got a slap sticker right here and i think that's really fitting because on the outside this car looks standard and it makes it look 
so much better. It'll look good when all the rock covers. Yeah, when, when this car's done, like, yeah, sorry about the, the real crap lighting. Uh, we haven't sorted out the shed yet because, yeah, it's pretty fresh. It's filled yeah. with rum cans and I'm drunk. <laughs> Oh yes, yeah. Someone's gonna be drinking around here. I'm like, I'm like me. I'm sober. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Anyway. Um. Yeah. We got heaps of GK. Oh, shout out Joel Kale. <laughs> Who? Joel Kale. Joel Kale. Oh, I'm just a faggot. Oh yeah. All right. Anyway. Um. Yeah. Got a um, box of GK Tech like wheel spaces here, and um. Yeah. I've got that many wheel space spaces, and um. GK Tech low ramps. Brand new in box. GK Tech stuff is um, pretty awesome, and um, we put some shifter springs in this as well, didn't we? Yeah, high cast delete. Oh, and yeah, high cast delete. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, keep following this channel, and yeah, we're gonna keep throwing more parts at this thing. And like when we, when, well, when Aiden first got this, it was uh, pretty much a dead stock stock skyline. But um, yeah, four door, keep following us, and. Let's see where this thing's going to end up. It's going to be yeah, as, as factory and uh, it's all about seat time. So as simple as we can. Right now it's just been, um, it is a buy and find. So it's been sitting around for years and we just got to maintain it. So that's what we're doing, maintaining it. It's for sale. It's for sale. 35 if grand. 35 grand. <laughs> you heard it. Um, but oh, awesome, awesome as well. One, one thing in here. <laughs> uh, the steering wheel. Uh, GK Tech steering like, wheel. Honestly, real I cheap. Fucking, I rate that steering wheel better than any steering wheel I've had in any car before ever. Dex out. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, he had a, uh, some other steering wheel in it and it was fake bendy nardi. as. Oh, yeah, it was a fake Nardi off eBay or something. But yeah, no, nah, John, get a decent steering wheel and uh, it's a, it makes a world of a difference. But um, yeah, I wanna, I'm going to keep going on right now and get this manifold off and yeah, do things. And he's just spamming the car with stickers because I have 700 GK Tech stickers. Because my 32 sedan, I've, I've bit bought that much GK Tech stuff. I just keep the stickers, and I got that many. I don't know what to do with them all. So we'll keep going. So picking up from last night, um, we got a little bit too drunk and gave up at about 1 a.m. I think it's one more line to take the turbo off this thing. So we can slip that out of the way and um, pull the manifold off. Gone out this morning and got heli coils and a Mamba stud kit. They got like Allen key holes in the end, so they're a bit easier to put in. Heli coils because they're all fucking snapped. Um, wrinkle black paint, some rock covers, exhaust money gasket, and the tap of cover gaskets. So I think we're pretty good to go with everything we need. Um, cleaned up the shed a bit because it was fucking trashed. <laughs> yeah, we're on our way to good things. Chris is at work, so I have to film by myself. So I probably won't film. All right, after a little while of swearing and carrying on, Got the turbo out. Um, if you're going to do this, I highly recommend ordering braided lines if you have the factory ones still, because they are a fucking piece of shit. Like, and they're even worse to put back in. So, I'm gonna see if I can get a set locally. Really hope that I can. Um, otherwise, there's a good chance I might hold because I'm really sick of this. It's probably like the third time I've done it. But, turbo's off, uh, pop the manifold off, pop the rocker covers off, uh, prep them for paint, got some wrinkle black over there, and um, we'll check in to expect the damage when I get it all apart. Alright, film for the second time, so I forgot to turn the music off, um, got the turbo manifold off, and here we've got our first brake. Those ones look like they're all right um, down the back here. But it's where the oil leak was the worst out of the tap cover and it's completely destroyed the gasket. Um, so and it's quite a bad oil leak actually, so it's probably good that we're taking care of that now. So 
so I can't remember what I filmed last but I've got rock covers painted I'm waiting for them to wrinkle up it's the wrinkle black everything looks better in wrinkle black um, and just trying to acquire some tools so I can get started on the studs which makes me very sad it's gonna be a long long night and who thinks Chris should fix this for free um, I think he needs a starter motor or something I don't know I just really want to skid it it's pretty tough looking needs a big fucking drift wang all right so it's next day now and uh we've pulled it off as you can see here i've just got a towel over it um got the covers off as well but uh let's just have a look see here um got some new studs in there if you can see all brand new studs um there's still two snapped in there so we just got to get them out and while i got the turbo and exhaust off also um put a hks uh wastegate actua back on because the old one we didn't transfer it over with this new turbo but um yeah just gotta pull this off now so it's a bit of a pain in the ass and I added some gk tech stickers because got heaps of them all right so we've just put this rocker cover on we painted it wrinkled black because why not uh, but when you do these make sure you clean the surfaces and put a bit of goo in like the corner there and there and the half moons at the back you put it all around it and then a little bit you can see uh, like right on the corners of them and then just around the whole half moon as well and then you can put it back on and we also got some new uh, bolt seals for it there too and they're all the old ones and they just go on the, the screws so fit that pretty easy make it happen all right so got all the studs out of bar one but it doesn't really matter but um we'll put in <laughs> it doesn't the... really matter it was, it was a bit <laughs> hey, <laughs> 11 out of 12 is not bad not bad but uh yeah we've got new gasket in um always get don't get those single gaskets because they are junk get a genuine one or um what, what one do we get here perma seal we got a perma seal kit um that's the part number there if you need one for yourself but um that should do the job quite well and yeah as you can see we've got both tablet covers on as well and yeah we're just gonna put the manifold and turbo back on now so it's always fun see you all right, so we've got the manifold back on now, put the throttle body back on. Got the new manifold, or not new, but yeah, turbo manifold on, so I've just got to slip the turbo on now. And just putting a, a harness back in together. And yeah, so, got the turbo here, it's all ready to go, so we'll throw that straight back in there. Got a tog split dump on this one, so we're gonna throw that in right now. Cause it's gonna be loud and proud. Oh, get a massage this in. Why? Oh, yeah, I sleep. Power steering one? No, it's the, the tube. It's still the oil tube, I think. There we go. Somewhere, somewhere, almost. Oh, it's the, the drain tube. Oh. Yes. There we go. It's a lot harder than you think. Oh. Get it started. We've got to put that drain tube on. There we go. I'll do.
We'll focus. Yeah, it looks better. All right, so that was a bit of a mission, but got the turbo on here now. Uh, all the lines are all bolted up. It is pretty tricky getting the hard lines on. I highly recommend getting braided lines. It's pretty difficult, but um, there is a bracket for that water line at the back of the head. There's 10 mil. You undo that, and then you should be able to get them. And yeah, you got to massage and leave the turbo loose to get it off. But um, eight inches down there, bolting the exhaust back up, and then we just got to plumb the whole turbo up and everything, and give it a service. And yeah, it should be um, all good to go then. So. Hopefully we'll be going out and driving this shortly. Alright, after all that, it's finally completely all back together now. Uh, we just got to get a new hose clamp for here. Uh, we've just topped it up with a bit more coolant. And yeah, just putting the wheel on now. So we can drop it down, warm her up, and then we'll give it a service as well while we're here. And yeah, so everything's all looking pretty good, hopefully. All right, so we're going for the first start now. seems to be running all sweet now got it all together everything's perfect took it for a drive change the oil and everything now just changing the rear tires because they're pretty bold from um, the last drift session um, out at Mexico so we've got some Ferraris on here and yeah so that's gonna be it for this video uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and yeah, comment below if you want to see some more on the old 33 sedan. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.